So this is going to be uh, part one of how I made um, the Magneto helmet that uh, you see um, in um, Uncle Jesse's uh, website, um, I guess YouTube site. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is insert a uh, reference picture um, uh, that you're going to, you know, work off of. So to do that, it's pretty simple. Just go into this attach canvas. So we're going to go down here and we're going to do add a canvas. Um, and then you can select on what plane you want to work on. Um, let's see here. You can see right there is the plane. I'm going to hide these pictures just there. So you select on the plane that you want to um, put on and then you click here and then you select your image. So we're going to do the side image first, hit open. And then this one will scale it, uh, make the scale bigger. Let me just make sure it's visible. Um, let's see here, so it was pretty small. So this will make the scale bigger. And then these will flip it in the direction you want. Um, this will move it. Um, and this will change the uh, opacity. Um, I usually keep it around you know, 50, 60, around that. And then once you have it how you want it, you just hit OK. Um, I already have mine inserted, so I'm just going to use this one. Uh, actually, I have it at 100% opacity, it looks like. Um, I'm going to hide these origins. I don't want the origins. And then you just do the same thing for the front view. And that is... Um, a good starting point. I usually try to um, eyeball um, how uh, the make sure they match. Sometimes you, the best way of doing it is if you didn't get it exactly right, is once you start on one of the sides, and you get an idea of how, how you know you you'll start working on one side and you'll see how how it matches up with the other side. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So for this one, I'm going to start with a quad ball. Um, never use these spheres. Um, the reason why you don't want to use the spheres is, um, I'll show you, this section right here where, where all these points meet, um, when, you when you 3D print it, it makes a ripple effect. So you don't want to use this sphere ball. Um, it doesn't work well for um, 3D printing. So you're going to want to use this quad ball. The quad ball works much better. So I'm going to click my plane. I'm going to um, click here. And I'm just going to, I usually start out with six. So um, 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 faces. Uh, you can see if I change it, you can see the faces change. So for six, a good number. So I like to start with six. It gives me en enough planes to be able to edit it, and I'm going to put that there. And that will give me my ball um, that I'm going to work off of and shape it into here. So the first thing I usually do is uh, I, I don't want a ball, so I'm, I cut off the bottom. So I just um, I make sure I have my box select on and I select and make sure it's on um, uh, select through so you want to make sure it's select through um, because if you don't have it select through it's just gonna it's just gonna it's just gonna select the, the top part will select the other half so you want to make sure uh, that your settings on select through so when you um, select it um, it'll select right through it so you want to select all that and I'm gonna hit delete and I deleted it um, and I have this top part and the one thing I, before you want to go any further, is make sure that, um, you put your um, symmetry in. So we want to um, mirror internal. So we're going to click on that, and we're going to click on this panel and this panel, and it will give a green line. Um, it should give a green line. It's hard to see with these these things here, but there's a green line, and that's the line of symmetry. So we have a green line, so anything we do on one side, we'll do on the other. <laughs> All right, so now that we have this basic shape, we need to um, bring it down. So what you're going to do is go into um, Edit Form. I'm going to double click on this edge and it will select everything. And then you're going to hit um, um, hit Alt and pull down. You need to make sure you hold Alt. Alt isn't like an extrude. And as you can see here, it will tell you um, in that text box, Alt key to extrude. And if because if you just pull down, it will just stretch it. And you don't want that. You want, you want some more planes. So we're going to do it again and again and again. And that's good enough. So then... You extrude down, and now you have, um, I guess the, I guess starting of of the shape of the helmet. So right here now, um, what we want to do now is we're going to start trying to match uh, this curve here. So we're going to go to modify, and, and we'll you know we'll start you know we'll start selecting points. So I have it on. Um, oh, the one thing I do want to remember is uh, if when you're using um, when you're trying to um, match up a picture, make sure that your view display view is on um, camera 
and perspective with ortho orthofaces. It makes it a lot easier to do. Um, you'll see it kind of like it, it, it kind of matches the picture a little bit better. It, it, it makes it easier to do. So you want to make sure and then in that little difference, um, it, it makes a difference. So let's go back to modifying. So we're going to start pulling stuff. So we're going to pull lines and try to get this to the um, the basic shape of the helmet. So it, it takes a, is there's there's no way to show you how through a video uh, how to get used to um, editing these uh, editing the uh, the T spline. It just takes practice. So um, pulling these lines is going to take a little practice to get. It took me a while to know where to pull. So I like to pull from the um, the the vertexes. Um, I make sure I have this all selected because these are you know you can put filters in where you want to select from like from the points, from the edges, from the faces, or from everything. Or if you just want to click the whole model. So I usually have that on so I can just click on anything I want and just edit this way. And this is the free form um, pull. And then this is the straight lines. And these are you know you can turn it. Um, and then this is important. I'm just doing. Uh, uh, this is how, how it's going to pull. So this is just coordinate plane. So this is, goes along the x, y, z axis. This is actually a really useful too. This is it's going to be parallel to your screen, so as you can see it never changes. And then this one, which is somewhat useful, is localized. So it's like um, this is going to pull towards the, the the x and y of this line. So right now I'm just going to keep it on this, and I'm going to start pulling. And then I'm just you just work this um, into the shape that you want. Um, get a rough estimate of how you want it, and then you know so we're getting here. We're getting, doing good here. Um, so I'll work this, and then and then like I said before, I, I since I sized these pictures before, it's um, it'll give you an idea of how this lines up with with the front picture. So it lines up pretty well. So what I'm going to do here is that it needs to be much uh, um, more narrow. So I'm going to select everything, and then I'm just going to hit this bar, and it's going to squeeze it in. And then you can see it's, uh, it has some um, distortions here. So I'm just going to pick this and click on here. And then you can see it's going to be symmetric. So I'm going to click on these lines here. That's if I can get all that and then pull it out here. And like I said, there's no, I can't really show you how, you know, how to um, work this T-spline. I mean, I can give you some ideas, but it just takes practice of getting used to pulling these lines and getting the shape that you want. Um, you know, you can mess with it and get an idea. And you know, if you mess up, you just you alt, you know, alt Z. I mean, control, um, control Z, undo it, and and fit, try it again. That's how I learned how to do it. Um, I'm just gonna actually, I'm just gonna select all these and then just squeeze it a little bit. You can just squeeze it like that. You know, let's see, I got that weird shape here, so I could just bring that in and work it. And you know. And so I like to work on this view. So the other view that is helpful is a, um, uh, it's a more planar view, and that helps you straighten out lines. So what you, what I usually do is make sure you click on your model and hit Alt One, and as you can see, it gives you these lines, and it gives you a good idea. It gives you um, a good, a better look at how the model is going to be. Um, like I like to make it straight. Um, making these more, uh, like a little more straight gives you um, a, more sm a smoother model. So you know you can straighten these lines up um, to ha you know to make it look a little more cleaner. You know you can pull. It, it helps you, and it helps you to see the model better. The one thing you have to watch is see how this sticks out. You have to make sure that that's true. So if I hit Alt three to get back to my, you can see it, it kind of comes back. So I don't really want to mess with that edge a little. I mean it might go in a little bit, but it's more distorted than it actually is. It's just um, the curve. It's more subtle, and then, you know you can just pull stuff out. So I would work this for a while. I'll work this for a while, and um, eventually I'll try to get to something that looks like uh, this. So as you can see, I worked it, and it's pretty much the basic shape I want um, uh, here. So so now that I have the basic shape that matches the model, um, I'm going to finish. Um, I think I finish finish form here, and yep, and then there you go. So this is not actually this is not a solid body. It's just um, it's just a, it's just a um, plane here. It's not as you can see. It's not it's not it doesn't have any mass. So you can't print this out. But 
I like to. This is a good. This is a good um, starting point because the next thing I'm gonna want to do is is uh, make this um, make this trim around here. Um, and I when I to make this trim, I build right on top top of this in in sculpting. So the next thing I'm gonna want to do is sculpt this trim. So as you can see here, um, I already did that. Um, so what I did here is I sculpt this just right above it, uh, right on top of it. Um, so what you want to, the one thing you have to make sure you, you do um, when you go back, so when you go back into, like if you're going to sculpt uh, this, is you're going to make sure that that model that you want to sculpt on top of is visible. So so this is so this is the one I did, and I don't want to use that one. That that was just messing around, showing you how to, how the general idea of how to sculpt. Um, this is the one that I the finished one. So this is the one I want vi uh, visible. So what I want to do is I'm going to want to have that one visible and hit um, create form, and that will bring me into this um, without this, of course, without this because I already uh, made it, and that will bring up this model in a transparency. So that will allow you to um, sculpt right on top of it. So what you want to do is you're going to pull up your model. You're going to hit, um, you're going to want to do faces. You can have it up here or faces and make sure that it's snap to object is applied. And, and what you're going to do is same thing with the, uh, that I did with the, um, domino mask, the, the Robin mask is, is you just click and trace over your thing. And as you can see, it is actually, um, it's on top. It's hard to see. It's actually laying on this model. So you're going to get the shape and everything together. So you just work that and just keep on going all the way through, just like the just like the Robin mask. Um, you just do the same. I'm just, I'll just do the same thing. Go all the way through, clicking and go all the way through. And you only have to do one side because um, you have the um, symmetry uh, option. So you know you only have to do one side of this whole helmet. So if I you know when I start working, I can go to duplicate and then click on what I want to duplicate and then click my plane, which is um, this one, and it will, you know, at what I make on one side, will make on the other. And you just, I'm just gonna, you just go away through until you have your um, your trim. So then you do the same thing as I did with the, um, the Robin masses. I just thicken this, make sure you thicken it out, and uh, finish form. And let's see here. And it should be right there. And there we go. And there's the um, whoops, hard to see. There's the trim on top of the uh, on, top, on top of the mask. So the next thing I would I would do here is um, so since this is just a um, a, a plane, um, what you can do is you can thicken. Um, this is just like a, a plane surface, not real um, a, a real object. Like unlike this one, so as you can see, this is an actual because we thickened it, an actual object. Um, so what you can do here is you can go and go into patch and go create and then you can just go to um, thicken let's see if I can find it right there thicken and thicken this this and you're going to want to make sure you're going to go inward so you have to use a negative number so you're going to go in there and I usually like a negative three or something like that and there you go you got um, some mass there and um, you can see here uh, there we go it's it's not it's no longer a um, well, that's three looks awfully thin, but um, so you can mess with that. But that's that's the general the gist of it. You can now it's a body. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how I cut out this part um, to make the open the open face part, and you and they cut out these parts to make it the bottom shape of the the helmet.